Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you have been having a fantastic day. Let's get back into this Pathfinder playthrough. And I think... Where were we? Oh. I don't remember what we were doing, but I'm pretty sure it had to do with Wolgif, right? Yeah, we were trying to finish off this quest. Oh, 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 oh. We talked to the, the family. And they had us go to Erebeth, and now we need to figure out who actually stole the sun and moon. Was it Wolgif? Or was it somebody else? Huh, huh. Huh, huh. Okay. Let's see. I found something. Some scrolls have been torn apart and some have been trodden on by muddy boots. Hmm, someone just screamed, please get me out of here. Pull me out. Hello. Phew, free at last. Thought I'd be flattened like a pancake under that rubble. Much obliged. Damn, I'm not in any pain, but my head is still foggy for some reason. What's with all the hubbub in the city? The name's Finian. I'm a pathfinder. Is there anything I can't do to help? I will. You're a Pathfinder? That's right. Finian Dismar, Pathfinder and Crusader. I roam around the war room, wherever my tasks lead me. Scouting, mostly. But this last while, I've been hanging around in Kennebrez, waiting until I'm needed again. I'm bored out of my mind, but at least this shop makes for better lodging than some inn. What I meant was, what are you? What's that supposed to mean? I just told you. You want to know where I hail from? Is that it? Well, I'm from around here, actually. We Kellids of the Star Eye Clan fled when the war wound troubles began, but I couldn't stand by while the demons wreaked havoc, so I came back. Or did you mean to ask about my weapon of choice? My best weapon is every weapon. I'm a skilled and capable fellow, if I do say so myself. I can swing a sword and poke with a spear, but what I'm best at is communing with the spirits. They call folks like me Phantom Blades. A Phantom Blade? What's that? It's like a spiritualist, but with a twist. It means that some spirit took a liking to me at some point, and it can turn into whatever weapon I need. Handy, eh? I don't need any whetstones or enchantments. Doesn't take up space either. Although, to be fair, it's not a barrel of laughs. The spirits that bestow this kind of power don't come from happy places, and they're not exactly bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. They usually appear after great battles that leave few survivors. The city is under attack by the demons. Wait, what? The last thing I saw was some thieves breaking in here. Then the guards came. Everyone was running around. After that, it's a bit of a blur. Right when things got intense, they dropped the cabinet on me. I couldn't even help the owner. I was just lying under the shelves like a dimwit until you came along. If there are demons in Canterbury, we must do something about it. The city needs every blade it can get. Hey, do you mind taking me with you? I don't think I can handle this alone. And besides, the more the merrier. How did you end up in this shop? Yeah, I've been here so long, I don't even remember anymore. Just sitting and waiting for any word from the Pathfinders, but it looks like everyone has forgotten about me. The shop owner is an old friend of the Pathfinders, so I've taken up residence here. All right, I'll take you with me. I swear you won't regret it. I can do all sorts of things. Is there anything your party is missing? A sword? A spear? A bow? Just say the word. Awesome. So we'll take Finny in and we'll make him a light crossbow and we'll give it to you. I'm not sure, but I think it's got to be on somebody's party in order for Finny to actually participate in dialogue. So that might be incorrect though. But I swear I felt like I never heard from him when nobody in the party was using him. The polished oak shells once showcased magic rings and amulets. Now all that's left are the grubby hand pits of the robbers. Do, do, Might be trap. Do, Might, be do. Treasure. Mm. Might be trap. Might be trap. Might be treasure. Unique weapons and antique armor were previously displayed on these stands. It's unlikely their new owners even know their true value. Such a shame. 
This is where it lay, the moon of the abyss. Hey, we get a cat there too. The formerly well-appointed shop now looks a starry state. It has been completely ransacked. Lying in the corner next to a scorched wall are the soot-covered shards of a clay golem's head. The golem's eyes glow in the gloom. Master, cold word, hand of Rory. Cold word, correct. The golem's eyes glow brighter, awaiting orders. Where did you come from? Who created you? This, this golem was created by Gaffrey and Son and Son. Address, third building on the right. Jeweler's Alley, Nero Cyan, Mendev. Motto, G504ENE, -E, which stands for Experimental and Enhanced. For all inquiries, contact Mr. Gaffring. Tell me about any suspicious people who came to the shop within the last week. The gullum is silent for a moment. 56 individuals entered the shop. Human, female, old, no male, old, human, female, He'll be reeling off customers till nightfall. We need to ask it in a different way. Were any other suspected people tieflings? The golem is silent for a while. Tieflings, three. Tiefling male, middle-aged. Tiefling male, young. Tiefling female, young. Describe the young male tiefling. Tiefling male, medium height. Short horns curling backward. Medium length tail, eye color, yellow, hair color, black. Special observations, annoyed master. Horns, hair, tail, that sounds like me, but it's not possible. I know what the security's like here. I didn't come near the place. I give you my word, chief. No special observations. Subject was unremarkable. There, see, can't have been me. Describe the middle-aged male tiefling. Tiefling male, medium height, long horns, medium length tail, eye color, pale blue, skin color, dark. Special observations, red hair. Ooh, that's our traitor. I bet your life on it. Charisma drilled it into our heads that we wasn't to go hanging about the shop. Hmm, red hair. We got a couple of gingers and plenty more who get it out of a bottle. So much for a special observation. Gullums ain't all they cracked up to be. Eh, maybe this master knows more. Describe the female tiefling. Tiefling, female, above average height, hair, long, pale, tail not observed, long horns, eye color, blue, special observations, scar on nose, baldric with gold stitching. Hmm, I don't know that one. A new arrival, most likely. Gold stitching. Mm, wouldn't mind getting to know her a little better. Enough. The golem is silent, waiting for an order. Where is your master? Philemon Frulatris, my master, is in his hiding place. Revealing the location of the hiding place is prohibited. 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 He likely hold himself up in the basement when the commotion started. The entrance should be around here somewhere. Where is the basement in this place? The basement is below me. I guard the basement. Leaving my post is prohibited. I found out everything I want to know. <laughs> Did you see that? Mm -hmm. This is my kind of work. The elderly gnome, so portly as to be nearly spherical, is curled up in the corner of the basement, shaking. Marauders, bandits, scavengers! And a very good day to you as well, my dear shopkeep. Shut it, or you'll pay for your insults with your life. The gnome's hands scrabble around on the floor, seemingly in search of something to hurl at you. The Eagle Watch is probably caught up with the bandits by now, and you won't get off lightly either. You can be sure of that. The gnome notices Wolgeth and his rounded face turns scarlet. You, Wolgeth the dirty little sneak thief. 
You've been sniffing around my shop for years. Finally worked out the courage to rob me, did you? Get out of here. You and your pals have taken everything already, I'm sure. The gnome seems to settle slightly. <sighs> my name's Philemon Frilatros. I was the owner of this shop, but I'm not sure I can claim to be the owner of anything now. I hope there's at least something left of it. Oh, come off it. Your shop's fine. It's a bit ransacked, maybe, but nothing a bit of spit and polish can't fix. Where were you the night of the robbery? Do you think I robbed my own shop? I was here, in the basement. I was told to make it look like I'd left. The watch is very keen to get their hands on those thieflings. They seem to be multiplying all over Galarian. So, of course, I did everything they said, and I've been stuck in this basement since then. The golem wouldn't move away from the door, no matter how much I yelled at it. But then I thought that it was all to the good. Somebody came by after the guards had caused a ruckus upstairs, bellowing like mad, taking advantage of my absence. Tell me about the tieflings that had visited ancient trees and wonders recently. Why should I tell you anything about my customers? You're not from the city guard or the Eagle Watch. Chief, if he keeps digging in his heels, and just say the word. I know how to loosen his tongue. Reach for your weapon. Start talking or else. Philemon recoils. All right, all right. Just put that away. I'll tell you everything. Ask your questions if it's so important. Tell me about Wolgev. Philemon's face wrinkles in distaste. Wolgev Jetro, right? Yes, I've known him for a long time, though I'd rather not known him at all. He's been skulking around my shop for years, treating the place like a free museum. He always wanted to look at the moon of the abyss. I'd chase him out, but he'd just slink back in again. If he was with the gang that robbed my shop, I'd bet anything he swiped the moon. How come I'm the prime suspect? Whoever betrayed us all, that's the one who's got the moon. I want to see him return too, you get me? I don't like the idea of other people's grubby mints on it. Tell me about the red-haired tiefling. Philemon falls to thinking, a red-haired tiefling? I suppose, yes, there was one who came in, spent a long time looking around. He was a person of modest means, I could tell by his clothes, but he asked me to show him an Asmir made chainmail. He certainly couldn't afford it. That's when I suspected that something was off. I checked everything after he left, but nothing was missing, and that put my mind at ease. I can't remember what he looked like, I didn't get a good look at his face. All I remember is that he was wrapped in a green cloak like he was freezing. But that's all I have. That's it. With that description, we'll surely stiff him out. Come on, Chief. Back to Sister Curious me we go to have a good long shifty at all my brothers and put all these clues together. Something tells me our trade isn't going to wriggle out of this one. Tell me about the tiefling woman. Philemon scratches his chin. A tiefling woman? Ah, yes, I remember now. A noble lady. Unlike the tiefling ruffians we have around here. She purchased magical equipment from the crusade and she promised to come again. If only all tieflings were like that, I'd be laughing all the way to the bank. I found out everything I want to know. If that isn't enough to help you catch thieves, then I don't know what else to tell you. Now be on your way and leave me in peace with my wreck of a shop. actually a pretty oh, difficult persuasion fun. check here so let's give ourselves a little boost let's shake a leg. and then actually it's only physical attributes right yeah physical oh well charisma drums her fingers nervously on the handles of her blade well are you going to tell me who the traitor is? The name and the moon of the abyss that they stole. I don't need anything else. I'm ready to give a name. Oh, actually, we'll do this. I met some thieflings from your gang. One of them got trapped trying to get into an underground passage. And what? 
We all made a pact. Everyone for themselves will meet up at their ring's time and place. If they were dumb enough to crawl into some hole in the ground, that's their lookout. I'm not their nanny. I'm ready to give a name. Well, go on. Tell her. The traitor is Malroon. You'll pay for this. Boyotel and Epsomir will get you in the end. Oof. A knife in the back. Ooh. Grab him. Take him away for questioning. Kick the man while he's down. That's just oof. Kira's man looks wary, but her earlier tension is clearly lifted. He confessed. Someone connected to the cult of Botham had ordered him to steal the Moon of the Abyss, and the best idea he could come up with was to drag us into it. He got the scroll to take out the Gullum. He betrayed us to Erebeth so that he could swipe the amulet in the chaos. He thought we'd get nicked, and he'd slink off to meet up with his customer. You've got the Moon of the Abyss? Let me look at it one more time. My whole life I've dreamt of holding it in my hands, if only for a second. He said when he got to the window display, the moon was gone. He's lying, of course. He had time to hand the moon off to the person who ordered it. Bloody cultist. I don't really give a toss. I'm just glad we got to the bottom of this. What are you going to do now? Actually, what are you going to do to the traitor? Kirisme nonchalantly picks at her nails with her knife tip. He'll be sent to visit his distant relatives on their farm to think about what he did. Any more questions? I've never been to a farm. I imagine it's really pretty. Fields and apple trees and chickens. Kirisme gives Ember a sideways glance. Yeah, sure. Chickens. What are you going to do now? <laughs> Clear out of this place. The sooner the better. The city's dying. I don't want to die with it. This city would have already died if not for the people who stood up to defend it with weapons in their hands. So defend it. I'm not stopping you. It's your city. But well, we've always been outsiders here. Why should we fight for you now? Can I join the family? Charisma casts an appraising look at you. You didn't do too badly. I'll tell my superiors about you. Charisma withdraws a ring from our pocket and hands it to you. Here. You're not our brother yet, but you've got potential. No doubt about it. You only get this option if you're actually a um, tiefling, by the way. Chief, you're going to be my little brother. Of course, I'll be taking the biggest cut of everything you bring in for the first while, but that's just what older siblings do in the family. You'll get used to it. I knew you spelled good things for me. We're going to be swimming in gold. I have to go. Good decision. I don't plan to hang around long either. Charisma turns to leave. Sister. Waldrop nervously bites his lip. His cheeks are flushed and his tail is swishing through the air. You forgot something. What now? She'd be happy to be alive. An apology. You promised to apologize to me. Loudly. In front of everyone. We're alone now, but I still want to hear it. Well? Ah, that. Charisma shrugs indifferently. So, sorry, I suppose, for being wrong about you. This time. Don't think that just because you didn't act like a jerk this one time that it cancels out the rest of your record. I know all about you. Till next time, Wolja. Diplomacy 20. That was the most pathetic apology I've ever heard. Charisma's eyes harden, but then she sighs. All right, fine. I'm sorry, Wolgif. Let's part on good terms. And now apologize to me as well. When you falsely accuse my ally, you accuse me too. God dog it. So hard to get this check. Ah. Uh, other times I've saved Scummit, but we're not doing that today. Dog it. 22. That is, that's brutal. Don't push it. Charisma turns to leave, but she hesitates and adds, good luck to the both of you. Waljuf watches her go, his tail relaxing. Better than nothing. Listen, Chief, when you got a spare minute, come see me. I have something I want to discuss with you. But for now, let's get out of here. I don't like sitting below ground when the building above us is ready to crash down on our heads. So, 
Yeah, that check is... It, it's brutal trying to get both those checks back to back. But the rewards are actually kind of worth it. So... She gives you the key to be able to get in here. Ooh, did you think Charisma would forget to lock a vault with a pile of money in it? You should be so lucky. If you want to clear the cobwebs out of them pockets of yours, you're going to have to try a bit harder. Ooh, so this came up. So let's see. Pretty good, aren't I? Let's see. Right. So if you were able to successfully complete the intimidate check, there's like a pile of money in here along with the books. But if you're just able to get into it, it's just the books. Super weird, honestly. But it is what it is. We're not saves coming for a lousy grand. I'm more than make up for that over time. All right. Now let's drop off Wolf and then we'll do the last little bit of quests that are left in this area. Mm -hmm -hmm. Evade. Enter. Actually, just realized I should go ahead and go inside because I got stuff I need to sell. Hate to get far out and then way old get weighed down. Let's see. Don't need that, don't need that. I forgot. How's your bow looking, Windwalk? Oh, you've got a plus one? Oh, cool, you're good. Okay. Plus two competence bonus on trickery and stealth skill checks. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, well, this is cl this clearly belongs to you, buddy. That's awesome. Lock picker's kit. You know what? No. Long term, it belongs to you, but for now. But for now, we're using Camellia, so she'll gain from this. Knowledge, Arcana, and Perception checks. Interesting. We will give Sila the increase on perception. All right, and that's all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sell, 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 sell. That does nothing for us. Okay. Get all that. Bulk sell. Excellent. All right. So now we clear up a couple of places. Get Camellia's quest. And then we come back here. There's a bunch of conversations we need to uh, finish up. And then it will finally be time for the Grey Garrison. Mm -hmm. I also need to figure out who's my real permanent team on this game. This time I'm not sure. Um, okay, I definitely didn't go to the Silk Theater. I can't remember if I already got the alchemical ingredients here. Nope, I did not. So. Good to stop there. Yeah, but then I need to stop at the, these two areas. Ah, I dug it. What's this? I won't let you hurt my friends. Oh, this should be doable. Surrender or else. Ooh. That was unpleasant.
go. Oh. That formation needs some work. We'll deal with that later. Okay. Do not fear. Do not waver. That shouldn't be a problem. All I see is blackness. You cannot be up front. Ooh. Don't worry, y'all. His AC will be going up soon. I will help where I can. Why'd I start off with her? Smile. I dug it. No, 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 no. Just yet. There we go. Excellent. Bunna, 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 bunna. Doom. All right. Got those. And now, which ugly fight is this? Not sure yet. I found uh, something. I am helpful, am I not? I'll prove I'm the best. I see blood. Blood! Excellent. Remember my name. When do I? <laughs> I actually really love it when she says that. Ooh. What's those, that there? Those legs look extra creepy right there. I hope you appreciate this. Got that got that. Okay. What is this? Oh, uh, okay. Sure. Yeah, nothing to it but to do it. No match, baby. Right against our resolve. I will break. Apparently so. Excellent. Kind of a glass cannon right now, aren't we? Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. Ooh, that up. All the notes. Okay. Miss me already. Magritio Turinos. Magritio Turinos. Oh. Ah, probably help if I fall defensively, wouldn't it? Oh well. Okay. Got that, got that. Now we go here. So we're going to finish helping the Desna people and then clear up the rest of this map. Which should hopefully be a little easier with Darien with us. We'll see. All right. Now this is starting to annoy me. Um, Let's bring him down here. When do I can still stay here? Actually, no. Yeah, there we go. And then, um, yeah. Yeah, that works for me. Fine. Wherever my legs carry me. <clears throat> Okay, now. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Let's 
fight can be a little ugly sometimes. Hopefully it shouldn't be that bad this time though. Why do I feel like she should have more spells? No, oh, 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 she's got the Arcanist build. Fortunately, this may not work out as the way I intended. All right, she can't share that with people yet. Okay, that'll have to do. Oh crap, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to skip that dialogue. I was going off default. <laughs> the eyes of a young lad peer out from peer out at you from under the massive helmet. At this proximity, it is obvious that his armor is ill-fitting and mismatched, and the helmet specifically is either very poorly made or theater prop. Pardon me, I saw you with that shawl. Does this mean you're a friend of Arenka's? What am I saying? Of course it does. So, the young man's speech is interrupted by the arrival of a new cast of characters. People in the robes of Iamade's Inquisitors appear from all sides, surrounding him. Adept all of the Temple of Desna, you are under arrest on suspicion of treason and aiding the demons. You have one minute to come quietly. Drag your feet, and we'll count that as an attempt to resist arrest. Prelate Halron appears behind his people. And here's the traitor who almost corrupted the Wardstone with his magic. You didn't think that the disorder and demonic presence in the city would distract us from pursuing traitors, did you? The youth's eyes go wide and he says nothing, clearly not knowing what to do. Demons are running amok all over Canabras. Now is not the time for settling scores. On the contrary, now is the perfect time to catch the demons' accomplices while they're overconfident and letting their mask slip. I'm gonna protect him because I feel like he has a better grasp of what's going on with the Wardstone than Horron does, and that therefore his people will be better allies for me. You are torturing this poor boy. I don't wanna do the good option. You know what, actually, I don't know what happens if you choose the lawful option. Arresting and interrogating this man is your right, but treat him fairly. No, you probably failed the Desna quest then, so no. Um, paranoia has, I guess we'll go chaotic. Paranoia has poisoned your minds. I've had enough of this. I do hope you realize that by defending this traitor, you've made yourself his accomplice. But even if you don't realize, it's no matter. Seize the rabble rousers. Save the last one for me. Bing, bing, bing. This is how it feels. Oh, I see his blood. This is not good. Ooh, that's one. Wizarder. Right. So I think if you if you know you have to fight Horan, you better just go ahead and take him out. The inheritor. Because otherwise. Hmm, does this help? I don't know if they can be affected by that. And you. Can you keep him on his feet, please? Excellent. And they just killed Darren. Not going particularly well at all, is it? Oh, I forgot what I was going to be doing with her. Yeah, they don't get frightened. Makes sense. Um, she needs a better angle. This will leave a bruise. Oh, but that'll also hit my party members who are on the ground. Unfortunately. Yeah. Don't worry about me. 
Ah, uh, and she's down as well. Mm, might still end up having to redo this. Unfortunate. Doop, 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 doop. He doesn't seem to particularly care about that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Almost. Almost, almost, almost. Do do do. This way. All right. So for starters, let's make sure we already have our buffs on. Strength. Oh yeah, Anayana. But we're gonna leave that alone for now. All right, now we will skip the dialogue because we've already seen this, and we just want to get through the fight. Right, so he steps up with all three of his little Inquisitor buddies. Ugh, I should have just killed you. All right, your paranoia has poisoned your mind. All right, take out the other guys first. And nothing else we could do. But so oh, you know what, actually? She can use that for now. He doesn't have anything really special he could do to help, does he? Not really. Does that help? Plus two deflection. That might help him. All right, and then she can creep around the side here. There we go. Does it seem like none of them have died yet? All this, all them, them attacks and whatnot. Something should have happened. And now he's at the back. Okay. He's dead. Oh, is Horron already dead? How did Horron die? Horron died. Amber three. Oh, Asmodee is handling business. Yeah. Very, very happy with this. Okay. Precision and grace. And there we have it. Excellent job. The young man glances at the bodies of the Inquisitors, then turns around. Oh, Desna, why? In doing what is right, must we so often be forced to spill blood where it is not necessary? Can this really be the price of the true path and of freedom? He tried to kill you all, and you pity him? You coward. You spit on your enemy's corpse. You don't drown in their tears. Does it take great strength to hate an enemy? and celebrate their death? Anyone can do that. But to feel sorry for your enemies, that is something that only very strong people can do. I hadn't considered it that way. You're probably right, doing that does take strength. But then why waste it on such a pointless activity? Pitying your enemy won't help you defeat them. Windowalk frowns. Wait, 
Maybe it would help you somehow. I don't know. Wow. I actually really like that interaction. Oh, okay. I'm definitely keeping Ember in this party with Windowalk. They have a nice back and forth. Anyway, thank you. I'd have been done for without you. A clash with the Inquisition was bound to happen sooner or later. Maybe. But if it wasn't for our stint with the Wardstone, which we didn't even save. Anyway, I only have myself to blame. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to the Temple of Desna. I want to be alone with the goddess and reflect on all that has happened. Excellent. Okay. We already looted them. And we want to be here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So first we'll come over here, clear out this area. Circle back over there. This is Desna, right? Temple of Desna. Head in there. Finish that quest off. Then we'll clear out all of this. And we'll be done with this area. And actually, as soon as we get over here, I'll turn back on turn-based combat. I didn't realize that fight was going to be harder. Basically, the way we'll do this is, I don't think it makes sense to have turn-based on at all times, especially when it's just a little flimsy, guys. But anytime we're going to go against like a harder fight or, you know, doing a dungeon crawl, we'll go ahead, we'll flip it on definitely so you all can get a feel for it. Let's go. Come on. Punish me for I failed. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, we're down here. That's Rules all that matters. Made to be broken. It's all good. All right. Anything else? Nope. Wherever my legs carry me. Where do you want me? Save the last one for me. Excellent. All right. I'll make short work of this. Ah. Am I doing it wrong? Am I doing it wrong? Oh, yeah. Save. Ooh. She did the whole crew dirty. Works for me. Ooh. You did not like that. There's another group back there. That's problematic. But it is what it is. Excellent. Out of my sight. Surrender or else. <laughs> Works for me. She's probably not the best person to have ran up there, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. And what have we done? We've alert. Oh, so she doesn't automatically alert another group. That's good, at least. They'll beg me to stop. Yep. Whole nother group back there. 
This should be interesting. I don't want to run all the way over there. Because to me, that's just a recipe for disaster. I really want Sela to be the one to run in over there. Yeah, Sela, you kick things off. Same with you. You're still running, that's fine with me. And actually, now I think about it. Am I doing Dang it. Want her to do the same thing to all of them too, but oh well. We could use we could use some help over here. Do 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 actually here. Now she can move up some. What? No. I thought I only got dog it. The spirits demand your blood. Oh, well, fine. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. Hmm. Okay. No match for me. I'll take it. Too much, too much, too much, too much. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Five. He is getting five attacks right now. Holy smokes. That is impressive. Oh. Oh. That is quite satisfying. I have to admit, that's very satisfying. Come, come on, Sela. You're, not, you're, uh, you're not getting with the program here. Who, who the hell is that? Oh, is that where the? Uh... The hell, beg me to stop. Precision and grace. Oh. Oh, you know what? It's probably because I added the magic armor and some other things. That's why he's been able to defend much better. I'm like, man, he's, he's been kind of sturdy right now. May I see your entrails, please? Ooh. 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 Oh, really? Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Is he really in front of her? Not really. And how would I, why would I assume that this counts? That him being there counts as being in front of her and blocking her from her charge. That makes no sense. Go for their hearts. And now, uh, that's a wrap. You, this should be clear. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice job, Sila. Very nice job. Yeah. 
Whoops. Did I press three spot before I moved? Looks like I did. That was a mistake. Oh well. I'll hit you. Did she just kill her? Oh wow. Very nice job, Ember. Yeah, it was probably too much to ask. I don't know what that just said. Round. Ooh, provoked an attack of opportunity. No match for me. And there we have it. All in all, not bad. Okay. Oh. Take that scroll. What you got on you? A couple of scrolls. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Couple of scrolls. The bodies have a variety of wounds. One is covered in burns. Other have weapon or claw marks. It is safe to assume that they were decapitated post-mortem. Forwards? Uh, no, backwards. 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 All right, I want to make sure I don't forget to pick any of this up. Trail me. All right, and I think that is enough for one day. Appreciate everyone who watched the play session today. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a like down below and subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.